Sheikh Alauddin, Minister for Industries, Commerce and Investments. Uh, Dr. Rebecca Fox, Dean School of Leadership, Educational Leadership at GMU, George Mason University, United States. Uh, Dr. Mr. Sardar Timis, Consul General of Turkey. Uh, Mr. Shere Yu Khan, CEO of Smeda. And uh, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu Alaikum. This is second SME conference being held uh, in the city of Lahore. The previous conference was very successful, and I can see that this conference is even has uh, raised the standards in terms of participation, research, submissions, and overall interest of the stakeholders. I think that this is also an illustration of what is possible through partnership between public and private sector. UMT has been known for its uh, interest in SME. Our, our business school from the day from day one has focused upon the needs of uh, SMEs and family businesses. Our business schools draw its enrollment from about 100 plus districts in Pakistan, and many of them come from families who have ownership of businesses or who are active in business. So we understand the challenges uh, facing SME sector. And we have developed human capital for the leadership of SMEs. So I think it was a great opportunity for us to be called upon by SMEDA to partner with them for uh, conducting this kind of conference and also to, for publishing a research journal. And this would help both SMEDA and uh, UMT to address the needs of the sector, which is very important for us. We cannot ignore the significance of SME sector in the economy of Pakistan. SME sector is responsible for about 40% of GDP of Pakistan. It uh, provides uh, increasing number of employment every year. It is also responsible for a sizable portion of exports in Pakistan. It is a thriving and dynamic sector. And if you want to see further enhancement of employment generation, and if you want to see our resources deployed and capitalized upon by, by, by our uh, young, then I think we need to do something, some, uh, we need to plan for SME sector in a more efficient manner. We have a responsibility which, uh, is, uh, uh, which is uh, for, for the development of the country, which is important for to make this country more comparative. And of course, there are multinational companies, there are national companies, there is micro industry and cottage industry. But SME sector is the backbone of uh, the industry. And uh, it is, uh, uh, it is uh, providing the resources in terms of uh, capital, in terms of uh, exports, in terms of employment generation. I think that if we, if we compare ourselves from Sri Lanka, if we compare ourselves with countries around Pakistan, we can see the enormous uh, challenge that is before us in this uh, field. Uh, I went to Sri Lanka a few days back, a few weeks back, and I found out that their population is 20 million. Their exports are touching 30 billion dollar mark. So in Pakistan, we have a population of 200 million, and our exports are hovering around uh, 20 billion dollar. So we can see that this growth of business in future will come from the SME sector. And this growth will come if we lay out, if we are able to lay out a plan for SME sector. SME sectors, we can see that they face challenges in planning. They face challenges in securing finances. They face challenging challenges 
in developing systems for them and they face challenges in, in their entry into export markets and they face challenges in evolving their businesses and organizations from stage one to stage two to stage three to stage four. So we need to develop the capacity of SME sector and our this University of Management and Technology in partnership with ISMIRA would be, is, is there to, to see ahead of time what are the requirements and uh, we would do our best to develop the courses, develop the programs and to offer consulting and advisory services to the SME sector. I wish this conference a success. I can see that there is a new breed of researchers who are now directing their attention towards the issues and challenges of uh, SME sector. The program book is, uh, is, uh, shows the promise of our researchers and I hope that this input from the researchers will back up the efforts of uh, SME sector, will help them develop new strategies, will help them understand the challenges in the market and will help them respond to those challenges in a creative manner. So I thank all the guests who have come here from industry, from government, uh, from abroad. I thank the team of George Mission University and I thank all the business uh, leaders of business organizations as CEOs of SMEs and I thank all the uh, faculty members from business schools in the city of Lahore who have joined us for two days of uh, this research conference. Thank you very much.